Hi, I'm Dave, and I know wrestling. Do you want a wrestler that isn't a cruiserweight? Do you want a wrestler that isn't his own son's kayfabe father? And do you want a wrestler that had a match with a guy who started out alive, but... You know what, I'm not going there. Then allow me to introduce to you my client for Dave Knows Wrestling's honest promos, the little luchador that could, a guy who's no longer a junior, Booyaka Booyaka, telephone area code 619, Oscar Gutierrez, or Rey Mysterio. Behold, the sure sign that the Cruiserweight division will always be doomed in the WWE. Because when one of your biggest stars of all time is ashamed to be labeled as one, you can probably bet that no one else will want to be one either. Go ahead, blame Oscar for never quitting. But it's fine, Oscar just wanted to branch out and the WWE just wanted to push one of their biggest merch sellers as a top guy. Even if it means that the word heavyweight has to change definition. Although, WWE really never specified that they meant heavy for an adult human. Oscar is pretty big for a goldfish. Anyway, it's not like he didn't work really hard to earn his place there. Like with a lot of guys when they entered the main event, he gained mass and muscle. Oscar did all of that and he got so big that it seemed totally unnatural. Probably because it wasn't. Could he be any more of a cruiserweight Uncle Tom? That's right, back in 2007, Oscar was on a list of names implicated in a performance enhancing drug scandal. And while other wrestlers who were on that list like Edge, Chavo, and Mr. Kennedy were all suspended, nothing happened to Oscar. Merch sales, they're a heck of a drug. Oh, that's right, he supposedly took those drugs before WWE had a wellness policy. At least that time, because there were another two times after that where he violated the wellness policy to pieces. But hey, let's not harp on someone suffering from little man syndrome. Let's focus on his positives in order to avoid noticing Oscar's glaring Napoleon complex. Positives like his wonderful son Dominic. But then again, if you see that kid now, you'll begin to wonder how much truth there was to that whole I'm your poppy storyline. Yeah, Dominic's height might explain why Oscar's so insecure. I mean, the kid grew up to be six feet tall. and. You can't teach that. In the end, if you want a wrestler whose son makes you question everything you know about genetics, a wrestler who had no business anywhere near a Royal Rumble win, and a wrestler who little kids may like, but they don't have to look up to, then allow me to introduce to you my client for Dave Knows Wrestling's Honest Promos, the guy who practically invented the stereotype that all small wrestlers are just spot monkeys, Oscar Gutierrez or Rey Mysterio. If you're wondering why this video is a little short, just think about that for a second.